Hey guys, welcome to Spring Travels. My name is Lenta and I am currently taking a gap year and traveling the world. Right now I am packing to go to Southeast Asia for five to six months. So I am very bad at packing because I always pack too much and don't wear everything. So this time I really tried to cut it down on things that I really, really think I will wear and need. So let's see how it goes. I am using the Osprey bag. It's a 70 liter with the attached, um, I think it's 15 liter um, day pack. I am going to keep the day bag attached to this bag and use this black bag as my carry-on because this day bag attached is just too small for my carry-on. It's just not going to fit everything. So I'm going to keep it attached and put my shoes in here. This is what has worked for me before when I went to South America. That way my shoes don't make the rest of my bag dirty. And if I need a day pack, I can zip this one off the bag and then take the shoes out I use as a day pack instead of having to take everything out of my hand luggage backpack. And then it's just much easier. So that's what I'm doing. I have everything laid out. I'm gonna see if it fits into the bag. I'm very hopeful that it does. So let's try. I'm going to start with this blue packing cube. These are the Gonix packing series. So in this big one, I'm going to put my pants. First, what I'm going to bring is these beige, just flowy pants almost. I, I roll everything up. I'm just going to go right there. Um, then my next pair of pants, these, I'm going to bring two pairs of pants, is these. When I went to South America for the first half of my gap year, I did not bring like a lot of like nice clothes. I brought more what was what I needed and what was convenient to bring. But what I learned from that is that I really do want to wear clothes that are nice and I feel nice in. So I'm going to I am bringing more like fun things cuz it just makes me feel better and that's what I learned. So it's learning from my mistakes. So I'm, I'm not going to pack very neatly because I know that when I'm in Asia and I'm packing like every couple days, I'm not gonna pack neatly. So if I pack really, really neatly right now and it almost fits, then I know it's not, it's not gonna fit in the future when I go and pack again, so I'm not packing neatly. Then I'm bringing two pairs of jean shorts. I'm bringing these and these. These are so worn out and I need new one, light wash ones, but I don't feel like buying them here because they're so expensive. When in Asia, it will just be so much cheaper. So once I find a good pair of light wash shorts, I will definitely buy them. Next, this isn't really like a bottom, but it's a romper. It's just a plain black romper. We're not doing this. Bye guys. And then I have these sports shorts. These are my favorite shorts. Um, I don't wear them, only wear them when I do like I, sports, sometimes I just wear them casually. But these are my favorite because it has a zip pocket, which is so nice when I like, I can wear these and I don't have to bring my fanny pack because I can just put my money and my phone in this pocket, which is so, so, so nice sometimes. Next, biker shorts. These are neat when you go backpacking, you need to bring biker shorts. They are so versatile and you just need them. And they pack up so small, it's just like. Last bottom is, this skirt. So again, I want to bring more fun things. Just squishing that in there. That's it for this one. Pretty easy. And there's a lot of room left on the top. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, first one. All done. Once I finish all the packing cubes, I'm gonna puzzle them into the backpack, see how it looks best. Next packing cube is this little smaller one also from the Got Next series. I'm gonna put my all my tank tops in here. First, this isn't a tank top, it's like a scarf. I love this because you can wear it as like a headband like or as a top, you can tie it around, which is so nice and such summer vibes, so definitely bringing that. I have five crop tops. So three of them are like the same, but just different colors. So I have it in black, green, and I also have it in white in white. Then the next crop top is this 
green one. This one actually is a set with the skirt, which is cute. Next crop top is this stripey one. So these, the this one and the last one are the only ones that have like patterns on them. The other ones are all just plain colors. So I thought it would be fun to bring some striped. And then I have five like regular tank, like regular length tank tops. So it's just this plain black one. Then I have just this red tank top. I realized when I was like laying it all out, most of my stuff was like white, black, and like a cool color, like blue, blue or green. So I added this red top to make it more fun. Then I have this plain white top. Next one is this black flowy top. And then last tank top is this white one. It is so cute and summery and fun. And I love it, so I'm definitely bringing this. And I feel like there's even more room on the top, so. Another one, complete. It's nice. I don't know if I should use another one of the Gonic series. It's like the same size as the last one. Or this smaller one. Hmm. I'm thinking. Let's see if I get it into here because this is like a compactable one. Oh, it would be nice if it could fit in here. Okay, so in this one, I'm going to put my t shirt, my cover up, and my bikini. So, she's back. Welcome. Okay, so first, in this packing cube is going to be this cover up. Um, this is perfect for like a bikini cover up or even like I can wear this over any of my tops because they go a little colder. I'm just gonna stuff that in the back of it. Then I'm only bringing one t shirt. I have another like short sleeve top that I'm wearing on the plane, I'll show you later. Um, but this is the only t shirt I'm bringing because last time I bought two t shirts and I only like I didn't wear them enough to bring two. I'm bringing this one, this is not even mine, this is my sister's. Don't tell her, please. Okay, so this fills up like a good quarter of it. And then the rest is gonna be my bikinis. So I'm bringing four bikinis. Okay, first one is just this plain black one with the black black top. This is like, this is very like a secure bikini. Like, I won't be flashing anyone. No, no, stop. <laughs> okay, next is just this one, it's from Amazon triangle top the teal colored one matching bottoms and like any of these tops i can wear with the black bottoms i brought too if i want the next is just these baby blue top i think this is smaller than if it was like this size packed next i already did this packing cube so it has all my underwear i have 12 pairs of underwear i have four pairs of socks in here and then I'm wearing one it's on my airplane pile I'll show you then I have two sports bras with me wearing one one regular bra and one like heavy duty one and then I have a hat I have a tote bag for like the beach or groceries or and my laundry bag is in here too it's just this green one you open it up and it's in your laundry bag. So that's what's in here. So these are my four packing cubes. I think that's gonna be it. I have this pajama set, but I'm gonna put that somewhere else in my bag. It's just these shorts and just the top. I have this bag which has my raincoat in it. This is it. Let's see if I can pack this up again. This is the real test. But I lost my rain jacket. I left it at a hostel somewhere in Columbia. So let's buy a new one. Oh, let me take you through my toiletry bag. This is my toiletry bag. I love this bag. It's from Amazon. The reason I love this is because it fits so much. And when you think, oh my god, it's not gonna close, it closes always, always. And the reason I bought this is because 
hangs. The hostels is so handy to have something that hangs. It's like you can hang up in the shower. Like you don't have to put it on the ground because most of the places like showers and hostels don't have things like shelves to put stuff on. But they do have hooks usually. So, so at the top here, I have hair clips. I have lots of black hair ties and Q-tips. Oh, and I have nail scissors. These pockets I have, this is my eyebrow dye because I have very light eyebrows naturally. Then I'm bringing one nail polish. It's just this really nice pink trusty. Okay, first thing I have in the top part is this little bag of jewelry. I just have some more earrings. Um, I don't wear much jewelry except my earrings. I always wear my earrings. Not like the big ones, but smaller ones. Just can't live without it. And then I have two headbands, blue and black. And then I have this small bag with my makeup in it. So that's what's in here. Okay, then at the bottom here, I have this Ethique shampoo, bar, and conditioner. Then in this bag, it's just um, this Dove soap for my body. My lotion, my razor, this small travel brush. I have this sunscreen. I use the sunscreen for my face. And I'm gonna buy a different sunscreen there for my body. I am bringing sun bum hair lightener because this is how I get extra blondes. Naturally, I'm blonde, just not this blonde. So this is my secret. Then I just have this small bug spray to start with. I have a small hairspray for when I want to slick my hair back. I have deodorant. And then last but not least, toothpaste and this small travel electric toothbrush. That's the toiletry bag. Then this. This in here is um, a cover for my backpack for when it rains or something for my big bag. I have this dry bag because I know I'm going to be going on lots of like boat tours and stuff and I want to bring my phone to take picture. I want to bring my phone to take pictures so I need this. And then you can also bring a towel to keep it dry. So then I'm bringing two towels. I'm bringing this small microfiber one for showers. And then this is not really a towel, it's a sarong. But um, this one's going to be for the beach. That's why I'm bringing this. The last two things that go into my big backpack is these two small bags. This one, I have contacts. I do not wear contacts every day, but I do like to wear them occasionally. Like my prescription's not that bad, so I don't have to wear them. It's just sometimes when I'm sightseeing, I'm like, can't fully see it. So when I know I'm gonna need to see a far, far away, like things are far away, I will wear contacts. Um, then this pretty cool bag has, this is my med kit bag. My mommy made this for me. I have band-aids, Advil, cortisone ointment for like if you have like a rash break. Kind of like Advil but stronger for my arthritis if it flares up. Antibiotic pain and scar ointment for if you have like a scar. These are anti-diarrhea pills and then these are um, laxatives. You never know. You never know. I haven't used them yet, so I'm gonna hope we don't need them this time again. Then these are for if you have a sore throat. My mom made me bring this thermometer. I haven't used it, but and then I just have a couple of these vitamin C packets that you just put in your water if I'm not feeling well. It's weird, like on vacation stuff, I never have to bring this because my mom always brings it and I have to like carry it around myself in case like I get sick. I have to like take care of myself. Rude, like mom, come over, help me. Anyways, the airport, I'm just wearing leggings. I'm also wearing leggings and this black short sleeve top. And to the airport, I'm wearing these running sneakers. Um, I don't think I need hiking shoes now. I don't think I'll be doing like intense hiking, like more than a day hiking. So bringing my sandals that I got for Santa Claus and flip flops. Let's get it started. I think in the back, automatically the big one should be stuffed. So in this mesh part, 
I'm gonna put my pajamas because I like them to be easy access. So I'm gonna put my towels in here too. I'm thinking these two on its side. And then the toiletry bag at the top. And I think this I'm gonna stuff on top. Okay. I was gonna put okay. I'm going to put this just at the bottom flat. Okay, the contacts, I think I can put on the side. And the medkit. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And then, what's this? Oh, the cover. Is that it? No way. This will close easily. Okay. This is the test. So far, so good. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yes! That was so easy. I love life. I'm gonna put the sandals. I'm almost done. Oh, this is a video? Yeah. Pull it really tight. Look how much smaller that just became. I think it's like 12 kilograms. Next six months. I'm really so good at packing. Okay. In my fanny pack, I have some Advil just in case. I have copies of my passports. So I don't like to bring my passports everywhere. My wallet. And then I have my passports, my vaccine card, and in the front pocket I have headphones and my earpods. So, nothing much yet. I know it'll fill up. <laughs> now my hand luggage. So first thing is this pink water bottle. Um, you need a water bottle when you go backpacking. That is a must. Um, otherwise you are wasting so much plastic. And some hostels like you have free water refill stations. So you save money. Um, okay, so the back pocket, I'm bringing my laptop so I can edit stuff. So that's in here. Okay, then second pocket. First thing, deodorant. Okay, next thing, I brought string so I can make bracelets. Then I have, I have a little pocket right here with my retainer, my medicine. Then I have this handy thing with all my cables. So I have my Kindle charger, which is still charging by the way, in my other charger in the kitchen, so I cannot forget. Um, phone charger, Apple Watch charger, extra phone charger, um, headphones for in the plane, like the, because it doesn't have, whatever. Um, extra eye mask, I have like a adapter thing for all countries, and my camera is in here. I have my portable charger then i also have in here this baggie which has my, my gopro that i got working again because i'm gonna be so much water stuff doing so much water stuff so i really wanted to bring it so that's coming with figured out how to use it again my sunglasses my regular glasses Then in the third pocket, I am bringing in here, I have some tampons and pads. I do not get my period anymore because I have an IUD, but just in case, you never know. Um, in here, I have my extra medications for the next three months. I have a plastic bag because plastic bags are always handy for things. I have my disposable camera which is fun, and I have a ton of extra masks. Then, in the front, front, I have two pens, hand sanitizer, Vaseline. So I have two extra locks, so I put one on my big bag, one is for hostel lockers, and one extra, just in case. So yeah, it's cute and it's pink, so I'm bringing it extra. The full fit is. Ugh. Ooh. I 
I need to start picking up the bag with my left arm because my right arm is getting so much stronger. And then this is it for the next six months. I did it. I did it. It's actually not that heavy. Give me two minutes and I'll think it's heavy. Oh, by the way, didn't mention this at the start of the video, but I'm starting in the Philippines and then I'm gonna go to Thailand. And then I don't have set plans, so I'm probably going to Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia. Just make the circle there. And then I think six months will be gone. So I'm excited. Ready to go. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked my, liked my video. Um, I am definitely going to be posting more, I think. I hope. I want to film more of my trip and post more just to show more of what it's actually like because some people are still a little confused on what I'm actually doing all the time so yeah thanks for watching bye